Ever since DK Metcalf went viral with this crazy picture, the expectations surrounding him have become about as intimidating as he looks in the photo itself. Now, after a tremendous rookie regular season with the Seahawks, Metcalf broke the rookie record for receiving yards in a playoff game. The first thing you should know about DK Metcalf is actually Terrence Metcalf. His father played in the NFL for seven seasons as a guard for the Bears. Terrence always tried to bulk up DK when his son was growing up. Both of them ended up going to Ole Miss to play football. DK's freakish body started developing early. At five years old, he received a weight set from his father. And according to his dad, he was pressing 50 pounds and squatting 100 pounds at that age. The Bears strength coach at the time said his bones were still growing and he should stop. So instead, Terrence got some resistance bands for his son. Metcalf was ranked the 14th best receiver in the country coming out of high school. At Ole Miss, his college career was actually somewhat disappointing. His former teammate A.J. Brown was the team's number one receiver, although this wasn't entirely Metcalf's fault. He broke his foot his freshman year and two years later suffered a season-ending neck injury. Even with an injury like that in his redshirt sophomore season, Metcalf still declared for the draft. On February 11th, months before the NFL Draft, the famous picture made its rounds on Twitter. It was DK Metcalf standing next to other draft prospects and looking like an absolute monster in comparison. Another picture came out and this one became the famous meme we know today. <laughs> And everyone needed to be reminded that this man was just a wide receiver. At the NFL Combine, Metcalf met with Seahawks head coach Pete Carroll. But this was no ordinary meeting. After being dared by a Seattle scout, the wide receiver entered the meeting with his shirt off. Then Carroll himself joined in on the fun. If Metcalf wanted to stick out and impress, that's one surefire way to do it. Around the time of the combine, there were reports of Metcalf's body fat measuring at just 1.6%. For anyone who knows anything about body fat, this percent is pretty much impossible to live at. But these reports just further added to the hype and mystique surrounding one of the most captivating draft picks ever. Coming off a substantial neck injury, Metcalf wasn't even supposed to participate at the NFL Combine. But he did, and once again, he impressed. He benched 225 pounds 27 times, which tied for first among wide receivers. And despite weighing in the top 5% of his position, he still ran the second fastest 40-yard dash. Raiders head coach John Gruden said at the time, we had a guy walk in our room last night, a receiver out of Ole Miss. His name is Metcalf, and he looked like Jim Brown. I mean, he's the biggest wideout I've ever seen. And you've got to ask yourself, who's tackling this guy? With all the publicity and hysteria surrounding Metcalf, there was bound to be some naysayers. One writer from Bleacher Report is on record saying DK Metcalf is a first round flop waiting to happen. There were concerns over the injuries, lateral agility, route running, and pure production in college. When Metcalf did end up falling to the second round, his father said it would be a good lesson for him, saying, just because people are hyping you up, it doesn't mean it'll be the outcome that they say. As a rookie, decaf Metcalf. After Joe Tessitore accidentally called him D. Calf Metcalf on Monday Night Football, 
Volcanica Coffee partnered with the rookie to sell coffee labeled off the newfound nickname. And of course, the iconic abs made their way right onto the packaging. For my final fact, I decided to leave it to the man who only spits straight facts. When Marshawn Lynch was asked about what impressed him the most about DK Metcalf, he said, That he a big ass dude can move like that. My left stroke just went viral.